In the video today, this is a capability that will actually blow your mind. And when it comes to applications of AI that make you more productive, this one shows a whole lot of promise. And it's within Google AI Studio. So if you go to aistudio.google.com, and if you click on stream real time, you'll have the ability to stream your desktop to Google so that it can help you use any application that you may have. And so I'm going to show you typical day in the life of a knowledge worker trying to use Excel and trying to create a pivot table. And I think we've all struggled with that and show you how AI can actually help walk you through that. So the first thing that you do is you go to share your screen. And so remember, if you're sharing your screen, you are sharing that with Google. So don't share any proprietary information associated with your company. So I'm going to hit share. I need your help, Google, to create a pivot table off of this spreadsheet. I don't know how to do that. So can you help me do that? Sure. I see the spreadsheet and you're asking for help creating a pivot table. I can guide you on how to do that. What spreadsheet program are you using? Is it Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel? I'm using Microsoft Excel. And what I'd like to do is to create a pivot table um, by country with the uh, gross sales for each country. Can you help me do that? Okay, you wanna create a pivot table in Microsoft Excel that shows gross sales by country. I can help you with that. First, select any cell within your data range. Then go to the Insert tab and click on Pivot Table. A dialog box will appear and you should ensure the correct data range is selected. Next, click OK. This will create okay, a new on, sheet for your on, pivot I table. To, From there and the pivot Hold on, I just want to make sure that I've got everything. So I've selected my table range, which is everything. And then I want to place this pivot table on a new worksheet. Is that right? Yes, it sounds like you've correctly selected your table range and specified that you want to place the pivot table on a new worksheet. Are you ready to proceed to the next step? Yes. So I hit OK, right? Yes, you're ready to hit OK. Once you do that, a new sheet will appear with an empty pivot table field list on the right side. Then you will be able to drag and drop fields to create your table. Okay, so what should I do? Okay, now that you have the pivot table fields, drag the country field to the rows area and the gross sales field to the values area. This will show you the sum of gross sales for each country. Oh, fantastic, I can see that. Great, you have successfully created a pivot table showing gross sales by country. Is there anything else you would like to explore with this data? Yeah, I'd actually like to create a pie chart of this data. So how do I do that? Okay, you'd like to create a pie chart from your pivot table data. To do that, with the pivot table selected, go to the pivot table analyze tab in the ribbon. Then click on pivot chart. A dialog box that. will appear and you can choose the pie then chart click option. On what? Does that make sense? Okay, after selecting the pivot table, go to the pivot table analyze tab and then click on pivot chart. You will then see several chart options. Select the pie option. Okay, so I've clicked on it. I see that I have a bar chart. Um, how do I get to, oh, change chart type up here t at the top. I click on that to be able to change the pie chart. Correct. Now in the change chart type window, select pie and click OK to switch to a pie chart. All right, great. That's fantastic. Thanks for all your help. You're very welcome. I'm glad I could help you create both the pivot table and the pie chart. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. And so what you can see here, if I go back to Google AI Studio, it actually recorded the interaction that we had between one another step by step. So if you want to go back and see how it instructed you to do a certain thing, you have that as a reference. So here's just another example of how AI can help you be more productive on a day-to-day -day basis. So remember, ask yourself every day, can AI help me do something better or can it help me do something faster? Here's an example of how AI can help me do something faster. So hopefully this is useful. Have a great day.